In the past few minutes, one of the Vatican's most senior officials has denied allegations of historical sex offences. Cardinal George Pell is facing multiple charges in Australia with multiple complainants involved. He says there has been relentless character assassination in the case. Pell is a top advisor to Pope Francis as well as the Vatican's number one financial advisor. He will return to Australia for a court appearance next month. I'm looking forward finally to having my day in court. Uh, I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. And our Vatican correspondent Delia Gallagher is in Rome with more. She joins us now. So Delia, just last hour we heard there from Cardinal Pell strongly denying the sexual abuse charges against him, calling this a relentless character assassination. This of course is sending shock waves across Australia. What has been the reaction at the Vatican? Well, you know, Rosemary, this news uh, of the charges on the part of Victoria Police against the Cardinal just broke in the early hours here in Rome this morning. And although there are allegations uh, that have been known about for some time, and the Cardinal really in the last few years has also come out to deny them whenever they've been brought up in media reports, so the Vatican has known about them, but uh, of course he hadn't been charged formally with them. So certainly there is shock. Uh, the director of the Vatican press office also gave a statement saying that they learned with regret uh, of these decades old charges, he said. And he went on to say that the Cardinal had met with Pope Francis and the Pope expressed his gratitude to the Cardinal for his honesty and for his work. They reiterated that the Cardinal uh, had claimed and still claims a complete innocence of these charges. So in a sense, they are supporting him until uh, the justice system in Australia proves those charges against the Cardinal. The important thing, Rosemary, is that this is significant, as you say, because that it is the first time that these criminal charges are being uh, brought against a very high-ranking cardinal of the Catholic Church. But it is also an important test case for Pope Francis, who has been criticized uh, for his handling of sex abuse cases. He set up a commission uh, to help advise him on sex abuse and on how to handle those cases. One of its most prominent members, Marie Collins, resigned earlier this year saying that the commission was ineffectual at the Vatican, that the Vatican was not cooperating. So it is one of the areas where Pope Francis has been criticized and many people are looking to this case to see what the Pope's reaction is going to be. So far, uh, he is supporting the Cardinal. Uh, he is going to allow him a leave of absence to return to Australia. And as I say, they are reiterating uh, the Cardinal's statement that he is innocent of any wrongdoing. But what we'll have to watch is after July 18th, after uh, the court trial, uh, what happens then.